I've heard it all about Eli Manning being overrated. So let's get some things straight here. Eli hasn't missed a start since a couple of weeks after Obama was elected to the Senate. In a good year, he was a top 10 quarterback. In a bad one, top half of the league guy. Never need to spend a high draft pick on a QB. And you're not picking at the top of the draft anyway. You know why? Because you have Eli for a generation. He's top 10 all time in passing yards and touchdowns, but never played like he cared about that. He played to win, even when that meant taking chances to try to score when his team was down. Stats like INTs be damned. Let's win. And he did it under as much daily media scrutiny in New York City as anyone. So when does very goodness become greatness? when the best is saved for the biggest moments under the brightest lights. It's not just the two Super Bowl MVPs. It's that he won every playoff game on both Super Bowl runs against these kind of quarterbacks. Beat Matt Ryan. Beat Tony Romo on the road. Beat Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers at Lambeau in the playoffs. And Tom Brady beat him twice. In 2007, Brady was the greatest quarterback of all time, having his greatest season on the greatest undefeated team of all time. Eli beat him for all the marbles. The Tyree catch was better than Eli's throw. What about the throw to Manningham? It was a fluke. Which part of twice do you not understand? Nate Silver sat down to figure out who the most clutch playoff quarterback who ever lived is. Who's that guy? The answer was Eli Manning. By so much, Nate thought, well, let me try this a different way. Use a different method and redid the list. Guess who came out on top again? Eli Manning, right ahead of Joe Montana. This giant, the Giants stink this year. But Eli does not. Check the red zone efficiency numbers. Check the number of drop passes. Check the injured reserve list and the depth charted offensive line. Eli deserves better than what he got yesterday. But Eli did what Eli always does. He was a man. She accepted it. Jerry Reese let him down with that sieve of an offensive line. And Ben McAdoo disrespected him. And Eli handled it. Another quiet deposit in the bank of his great legacy. Eli Manning has been a generational championship franchise quarterback. And if you want to say anything to the contrary, I'll borrow from my guy, Stephen A. Smith, and tell you, kick rocks.